As with all revolutionaries, it took courage for biologist Rupert Sheldrake to put forth a theory that all living species are formed through a field of intelligence or a force of habit he calls the morphogenetic field. His theories and experimental findings fly in the face of the mechanistic view of biological development, which has caused controversy among his peers at Cambridge and elsewhere. Furthermore, Rupert explains that the same morphic resonance is responsible for connecting us with one another, which is exemplified via psychic phenomena, which he says is innate to humans and animals alike. After a five-year wait, I finally met with Rupert at his home in England. There's invisible patterns in space. All fields are invisible patterns in space. The gravitational field is kind of curved space. The magnetic field around a magnet is an invisible pattern. You can reveal it through shaking iron filings around a magnet. And morphogenetic fields are invisible patterns in space that have a kind of memory. So the morphogenetic fields of a giraffe have a kind of memory of previous giraffes. So the form of a baby giraffe as it grows is shaped by the actual forms of previous giraffes by a process I call morphic resonance. Resonance on the, on the basis of form or shape or pattern or organization. So what it means in effect is that every species has a collective memory. Uh, every individual draws upon it and tunes into it. And it's a collective memory of form involved in shaping the embryo and the growth of the animal or plant, and also a collective memory of behavior in the case of animals, which underlies their instincts. Instincts are like habits of the species. Uh, a young spider can spin a web without having to learn it or go to web workshops or anything. Uh, just instinctively, it knows what to do without any training. Uh, and it's a kind of memory of the webs that its ancestors have spun before. So that's the theory in a nutshell, and it's rather like Jung's idea of the collective unconscious as a kind of collective human memory. I can't urge you strongly enough to take advantage of this glimpse into the world of Rupert Sheldrake. For the full interview, go to cmn.tv.